Shalom family. So I thought I'd take a moment and quickly just chat to you guys about the Methuselah tree. Did you even know there's a tree called Methuselah? So I'll put the picture up and I'll post it to the community wall and it'll be on this video as well. Methuselah is a great basin bristle cone pine tree. That's astonishingly their guesstimate around 4,844 years old. They did this by counting the rings by taking a round core sample right through the tree, which was the most invasive way to not hurt it and still try and calculate its age. This means it began its life when the pyramids of Egypt possibly were in their nascent stages. I personally believe they were around much longer than that. When the Bronze Age civilizations were thriving in different corners of the world, it is ancient, 4,844 years old. Now, what I like to do with things like that, it's the same thing I do when I see fossils and those type of things. I really let my mind go back to this item that I'm holding or touching or seeing was around when. So if you take the, the Hebrew year, it's 5784 plus the 210 lost years takes you to 5944 so that's where we're at on the time scale plus your seven year period which time will be shortened otherwise no flesh will be saved that brings you to 6000 after the tribulation hence again why we should be excited but again i'm going off track here 4844 years on this tree plus minus and there's a few trees around it that's a few years older takes you to 1150 according to the hebrew calendar after creation this tree germinated adam had been dead for about 110 years when this tree germinated and started growing methuselah and lamech and those people were alive they were living methuselah was a young man a couple of hundred years old young this tree was growing quite happily while Jesus Christ walked the earth in Israel and came and set us free and died for our sins and rose again. This tree was growing when the early church was growing in all of its historic moments. This tree stands to this day along with us. Another reason I keep an eye on this tree, just for interest's sake, and it's a shoulder thing. Methuselah in Hebrew can be translated in various ways. One of them is his death will send. And another translation is when he dies, it will come. The word shalach, missile or weapon, is the noun form of the word shalach, meaning to send a missile or a weapon that is sent. Shalach has the more literal meaning of to send something. We know about the possible meaning of their death sends or his death sends. It sounds like an incomplete sentence because when Methuselah died, it's interesting to note that something massive was sent, the flood. When he died, the flood was sent. When he died, it came, the flood. So, could it be possible that this tree dies very soon? Just as a reminder of what the name Methuselah means? Who knows? But it is interesting and awe-inspiring. The other thing that comes to mind against the millions and millions of years old stories is this ancient, ancient tree, and there are some ancient olive trees in Jerusalem that I've told you about. I've been there and looked at them and touched them that Jesus prayed by that are still alive today. This tree that is still alive today, as ancient as it is, fits into the 6,000 year time scale. Interesting. Very, very interesting. These are the fun things we muse about and look at and enjoy and put together as we read the word of God. And we're encouraged by the fact that we're at this late date of mankind and that Jesus is coming for his bride really, 
really soon. Have an amazing day and keep looking up. Shalom.